All right, so let's run this again. This is this is what we got so far from last video, is we have um, a whole bunch of hats. We can in here and we can just say, okay, yep, there's five add, but this this add button's not firing any functions. I can get a function to work, but the problem is I need each button to kind of correspond to each hat, and it's a trouble. So in order to do this we need to actually grab this add and do something extra with it. So we're going to go add dot character set character set my bad, not character set, data set data set dot index cart equals i sorry I got this wrong, wrong way cart index i then this is going to be add event listener and, and it's going to be in here so we want to say what event we're listening to so i'm saying click then we want to say right click then we'll just say the name of the function we're going to be using and what else and we've got to put in a false to say that it's not currently running and we need commas between those Right, so what this does, it means that I can now build a function called adding, and it's going to pick up an event, and then with this function, essentially it should work individually for each button. It should be able to kind of identify that I've been clicked on the first, second, or third one, because essentially it's assigning a number to each button in the order it goes down so zero one two three so um we're going to make a const which we're going to call num which const should be like this num equals uh what is it it is the event dot current target dot i think it's cart index it's up here, data set, oh, there you go, data set, current index. Right, then I can, sh I should just, just do alert, hey, go back, num. Let's give this a wee test and see if this works. So we want to go, okay, refresh, we've got all our hats. And I'm going to click add, so that's the zeroth one, so let's go down like two, so this should be in theory, one, two, two, okay, so that's actually now clicking up the event, it's now grabbing the actual um, button that's associated with that, and then that way I obviously, I can then say alert, let's actually just alert the price for example, so I can say items, square bracket, square bracket, I'm using the num, and then the price in the array is the second one here. So I could say one, um, oops, oh, I can do this if I want. So if I refresh this now, I should be able to go add. It says 29.99. Okay. Then if I grab this one here, add 19.99. So this is how we get a bunch of numbers, a bunch of buttons to have functions attached to it that we can actually reference them individually. 
using this basically this index as we rotate through the variable i it pushes in an index number that's associated with it and then this is how we grab it and then we can use that to then individually make each function have its own separate action or a kind of like rather than it being just one but five buttons but it does the same action for all of them and it defeats the purpose of having five buttons right so we'll put that up in into there and the next step really will be then to just add a little quick cart that we can push information to maybe get some information how we can grab this the actual whatever's in here as well um, and go from there because we need to be able to grab this individually too which means this will need to also go through a similar process of having an index as well so we can grab that information and it needs an id as well so we can grab it so there you go